Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at action cameras. So recently I've gotten sent two cheap action cameras, this one here and this one here, and I'll have them linked down below in a bit. Just give me a second on this. This is a $30 camera. This is an $80 camera. This is a $130 camera. This is my third one that I've actually purchased uh, because I broke the other ones. Uh, by the way, customer support is a piece of shit for this one. Uh, the Mobius 2 is a huge letdown. The run cam is okay. It'll get you going. I don't mind. I've got two of them because I saw a combo with a battery, an extra battery. So now I have three batteries and two, two cameras, which is really nice. And my main driver, which is the GoPro Hero 5 Session here. This is my third one also. Let's talk about these cameras. Now, this one right here is the one that stood out the most. And this one's only $80. Now, I came into the thinking that there's no way in hell that, you know, anything can beat a Firefly in terms of cheap budget action cameras. But... To be honest, I think I'm wrong. This is possibly a rebranded uh, Hawkeye Firefly. They perform just about as good. This one's slightly better in terms of content bitrate. This is a static, like very stable uh, 50,000 kilobits per second, which is its bitrate. And this one's around 35,000, uh, capping around 40, 35,000 here. This one is hitting 4950, just constant. So the overall image quality is slightly better on this. However, I tend to like this a little bit more. The Firefly, it's 120, I think. Uh, just because it's a little bit sharper. But I've never, I didn't do any modifications to the default settings when I flew this. I flew both of them default um, and 1080p 60 frames per second. And both of them are capable of 4K 30 frames per second. And um, this one was just a really good camera that you can totally use for your FPV freestyle video, especially if you're on a budget. I mean, I'm going to be using this. That's how good it is. So this one, this one, and this one. These are the three that I always use. Soon I'm, I do use this sometimes, but it's as a backup. Usually these two is what I'm using. However, now I have this one added to the list and we're gonna take a look at the video footage with these two side by side. Now I also got this one. This is a $30 uh, FPV action cam with Wi-Fi and all these types of things. However, the quality is not what you'd want to see at all. Even as a dash cam for your car, it is really not great. It's kind of like one of those cheap hubs in HD camera drones, that, that, that type of image quality. It's absolutely terrible. And I will show you that right now. All right, so this is the 30, I think $30 camera, which is really not really great at all here. Um, it was stable, if that makes a difference. It records a maximum of 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second. But to be honest, it's not really recommended. I don't know what you would use it for. But um, yeah, it's just, yeah, there's a little review of this one here. The Mobius, the Mobius has decent quality, um, but it does not compare to anything else on here. This is the Mobius 2. I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but the quality isn't great at all. And I was really uh, disappointed, to be honest. And let me show you a video image of this one flying. So yeah, even even then, this still has a lot of features like I think Bluetooth and Wi-Fi that I won't even use. It also has a video output, like uh, if you wanted to use two cameras, you can even set this up. But the quality isn't great, and it's it's you know I don't look for the best best quality on my channel, but something decent that's really nice to watch. Uh, this wouldn't be one of them. This is kind of like a the, the camera I would use if I, I put on a wing and if I lose it or if it breaks, I really don't care about it. Uh, I'm putting it in a weird position. Uh, this is the type of camera I would use, but as a daily driver, um, there's way better options for the same price of this, in my opinion. But it's still a decent camera, but it's not something that I would pick up. The Runcam 3S, it's a really good camera. There's view videos all over the internet about this camera. It's a really nice camera, and that's why I got two of them. They're, they're just a really nice backup in case anything happens to this. And also my Zod Dart XLs take this right in there. So it makes it, it's just really good. Overall, the, the, the footage that comes from the Runcam 3S is totally usable online, especially on YouTube videos. So I really like the Runcam 3S's here. 
Now we're gonna come down to these. The GoPro is no doubt has one of the most amazing qualities. Unlike the GoPro 7s, those are just insane. Hopefully someday I'll get one, but that's not the point here. We're gonna go down to these two here. So these two both have just about the same um, capabilities and they both could record 4K 30 frames a second and 1080p 60 frames a second. They have some sort of a slow-mo mo slow -mo mode, which I never use. I think it goes like to, I think it's 720p 120 frames per second. We're going to go over this menu a little bit. They both have touch screens. This one has a distortion. It's not really bad, close to like somewhat of a fisheye effect. You'll see that in the footage in a bit. This one, I think uh, there's one that does have that and one that doesn't. I think this is the one that doesn't have. This is my third Firefly. And if I knew this existed before the Firefly, then I would not have bought my third one. I would have just bought these because these are much cheaper. They're 80 bucks. And the content bitrate is it's recording at a higher bitrate, which is really nice. And what's so cool about these two is if you could find batteries for this one, then it'll fit into this one. So that's really nice. So basically you could switch out the batteries back and forth. So if you can't find batteries for this one, just a Firefly battery will work just fine. And that's what I've been doing here, especially now that I broke three, I have two extra batteries. So in total, I have four batteries, which is awesome, really. So let's turn this guy on here. Now, don't forget, this one's only $80. I was really, really surprised. Imagine it just doesn't want to turn on here. So let's clean this up. Now this does come with a couple things, which I'll show you in a bit. Something like a cleaning cloth, the mounts, you know, the waterproof mount and stuff. By itself, it's not waterproof, but it does come with the waterproof cover. Kind of like the same type of the GoPro uh, packaging. That's the way it comes. You get like, you know, like a pull mount and um, some lanyards, a USB. You don't get a charger, but you get a USB. And it's micro USB, by the way. And the battery is removable. Now it is also touchscreen. However, the screen, it's, it's, Decent. It's not, I don't feel like it's as good as the Firefly one. However, the Firefly has really shitty support, in my opinion. Um, the ones that I broke, I actually contacted them. They just basically said, oh, we, we just, you know, there's nothing we can do. I asked them, you know, I wanted to buy a new lens and a new screen. And then they just said, oh, you might as well just buy a new one. So, I mean, uh, it just, just didn't make sense to me, to be honest. So if we take a closer look here, let's go ahead and go to the resolution. I'm just going to scroll through them so you can kind of quickly see them. Hopefully that's in focus. The camera's too far away from me. Uh, so this 4, 4K, 30 frames a second. I'm just going to scroll down. Here we're getting the 2.7K, 30 frames a second. And here we're getting the 1440 at 60 frames per second, which is really nice. And usually I set it to 1080, uh, 60 frames per second, but we can still go down here. And we can see that we have 720p at 120 frames a second. So if you needed that, you can do that. That's how you can do slow motion. And the minimum is 30 frames a second at 720p. In the options here, it has some of, you know, the things that some people will use like uh, inside their car as, as a dash cam. I think that's what they call them. Uh, segmentation. So it can segment the files. Like if you're recording, uh, stop every five minutes and start a new recording. You could turn that off, which that's why I have on. Field of view, narrow, wide, medium, it just cuts part of, it just kind of crops the picture a bit. So you just keep it, I just keep it wide. You can, it does have a microphone on board. It's not really the best microphone, but it was decent enough. It was better than this one, that's for sure. Uh, the encoding mode, actually I've never even seen this. We could even, oh wow, we could encode it. H.265 codec. Now that is something pretty interesting because, where is it? The Firefly doesn't have that. What that means is you can compress the file, still keep the, the quality, and at the same have lower bit rate, which is really nice. Uh, so that's a huge plus right here. I didn't even actually test that. I should have tested that. Image stabilization. I recorded all of this with the image stabilization off in order to see if we get jellos and just to see how overall it runs. So here's the white balance. They're, they have just some presets, daylight, cloudy, tungsten, and these other ones as well. Exposure, you could change the exposure. So up to plus two and minus two. And LDC, I have no idea right now what LDC is, but maybe we'll come back to that. You do have Wi Fi, SD card format, factor reset. What's the start action? Uh, so Wi Fi password and stuff. I don't use this. Uh, I don't know if you would want to use this, but that comes back to you. It is a really nice, uh, as you can tell, it's a very nice uh, touch screen, very responsive. And um, yeah, it just, it just works really great. It works. Absolutely phenomenal. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the footage of this one right now. And then we're going to start kind of comparing them. I'll just show you a footage of back and forth between these two here. On the same day, right after each other, I was flying them. Um, this one already showed you footage of that one. Uh, I think I showed you the Mobius. So I don't I'll just 
I don't know. Uh, the Mobius just, it was a huge letdown, to be honest. But uh, this one is a really, really great option for $80. Really great option. And um, I'm really liking this camera quite a lot, actually. Uh, low light performance, have no clue, but I but don't expect much. Um, so just, just giving you the worst case scenario. Don't, I haven't tried it in low light, you know, low light environment. Just a nice little cloudy sunny days. It's doing decent. Nighttime, obviously, the, I don't think they're going to work that great. Nothing really works that great. And, well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave you with the flight footage for from these two. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.